Hallelujah. Praise God in heaven, the creator of the heaven and the earth, the creator of the, all the mankind and everything that is creeping and the walking and swimming in the seas. That the God that sent his son Jesus Christ for the salvation and the freedom of the souls of us from the sin, from the corruption and deceptions of the Satan. For God desired that the, all the men to be forgiven and had come to the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ and to be forgiven and receive the salvation for their souls that they live forever in, with Jesus Christ in heaven because the life will not be ending here but will continue. Bible says, so God so much loved the world that He sent His only begotten Son for you, that you believe in Him, that you shall be saved. But for those people who reject Him and deny Him and being stiff naked in their heart, in their neck, and being prideful and the lost in this world, there is a condemnation for them. Jesus Christ will come back. He raised from the dead. He, he crucified. God has crucified Him. Because he was a perfect salvation, perfect sacrifice for you, that his blood can cleanse you and wash you. There is no other way that you can be cleansed and be washed from your sin in your conscience and in your life, except through Jesus Christ. Jesus loved you. And Jesus died on the cross and shed his blood for you, that your sins to be forgiven. And now many people, they hear the gospel of Jesus Christ, they reject it. But God gives you chance the stretched arm of the Lord God Almighty come to you that you be saved. There is a joy and the peace in the Jesus Christ. There is a love and the life in Jesus Christ. Yet they have built the cities and they bring all kind of corruption and the sins to this mankind. Somehow they, they're drinking alcohol day and the night, they're smoking hash and that's it. okay We're for the young hash, generation. But Jesus Christ loves you. Hash. Jesus Christ loves you and calling after you that you repent of your sin and you believe in God, not believing in the Satan and the things of the Satan. Jesus loves you and Jesus is calling after you that you be saved and live forever. What happened in this city is that the sin and deception of the Satan became so normal that the people became so blind that say this is okay, but that's not okay. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yes, Jesus indeed is a life. Jesus indeed is a truth. For the Lord himself will descend from the heaven with the shout of the voice of the archangels and with the trumpet call of God and the dead in the Christ will raise first. And those people who are dead, Jesus Christ is calling after them that they may be raised from the situation that they are living in. Dead situation, corruption and the darkness that they have surrounded. Somehow, if you giving your life to Jesus Christ, you will raise from the situation that you are in. Your mind will be renewed. The water and the bread of God will come and you will drink and eat of him. We shall not die. Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus is not rejecting you, but this is the arm hand of the God the Father for you that you shall be saved from loneliness, from rejection, from isolation. He is the one who can save you. Somehow the modernity and the life in this world take the souls of the mankind. TV, satellite, internet, whatever. God said in the Bible, read my word day and the night. Do not set your eyes off my word. But now the fashion and the idol somehow became so normal in this world. Jesus Christ loves you. And Jesus shows and displayed the love of God on that cross. The blood of Jesus Christ has a power to cleanse you and to wash you from the sins and come and repent of your sin. Being born again in the spirit and the water because when you are baptized, you are a new person. You belong to the kingdom of God. You belong to the light. The hope is in God. There is no hope 
in the world that is dying and perishing. One day, the Bible says, the glory of the man is like a flower fade away and like a grass withers away. But the glory of God stands forever. His word is the truth. The word of God is the truth. Jesus Christ became a word for you, that you receive him into your heart. And believe me, and remain, Jesus Christ is the 